सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू दर वीडियो और आज है मेरा डेटा एनालिस्ट का ही इंटरव्यू और मैंने जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन वगैरह पढ़ा है तो ज़्यादातर आओ बी आई और सीक्वल पे ही टास्क दिखाया है उन्होंने तो बहुत बड़ी फैसिलिटीज़ मैनेजमेंट की कंपनी है भाई और अगर हो गया तो बहुत अच्छा होगा और काफ़ी कुछ सीखने को भी मिलेगा एच सी इंटरव्यू वगैरह कैसा होता है और आप में आपको भी दिखाता हूँ इंटरव्यू यहाँ पे यूके में कैसा होता है मतलब इससे एक आप आइडिया ले सकते हो सारे इंटरव्यू ऐसे होंगे ये पॉसिबल नहीं है क्योंकि कंपनी डिपेंड करती है जो पर्सन इंटरव्यू ले रहा है वो डिपेंड करता है तो बहुत सारे चीज़ें मैटर करती हैं इट विल नॉट कि ऐसा ही होगा आपका इंटरव्यू और ऐसे ही चीज़ें एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हो हर इंटरव्यूअर अलग इंटरव्यूअर अलग होता है हर कंपनी अलग होती है और उनके वर्किंग कल्चर अलग होते हैं तो डिपेंड्स करता है कि आपकी सिचुएशन प्लस आपका लग कैसा है जैसे तो ठीक है तो चलो वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं और वीडियो को लाइक और सब्सक्राइब जरूर कर देना इस तरीके के इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो देखने के लिए चलो इज इट फिजिबल हाई वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ इज So yeah I'm I'm all right thank you Yeah yeah definitely Okay so just quickly what do you know about the role and the company just briefly Yeah so the role is uh, mostly based on on SQL server and the power bi how we need to provide the stakeholders how we we need to get the requirement from the stakeholders and we need to provide the ad hoc reports to them as per their needs and uh, it could be the internal or the external out uh, stakeholders and uh, along with it like uh, there will be task for creating the creating or maintaining the sql server procedure trigger and sql server jobs like that do you know about the, the company uh, company it is a facilities management uh, companies where they work in the different sectors like uh, financial and professional services manufacturing media even the it services as well and the, even they work with the different uh, uh, government sector like central government defense and education sector as well yeah i can add uh, some uh, additional uh, points to that yeah uh, to my knowledge about the company Yeah. So um uh, like uh, four to five years of the experience and from last five years I've been working in the database as a database developer and the SQL developer where I used to maintain a um, bunch of the different uh, projects databases only so I'm pretty good in ETL process like extract transform and uh, loading the database and cleaning it using those database from the SQL server we making the ad hoc reports according to the stakeholder requirements so i have the totally experience in that field and i love the data field okay so basically some additional thoughts on this so do you have any experience with power bi yes recently like i have done many projects on bi power bi but not to further level uh, for your so what uh, i can i can say myself okay. like intermediate one Yeah definitely like I've been working on Power BI as well so making the reports using getting the data from excel sheet different azure even I have worked on the azure data set as well like even some web scraping data set as well like using the website url I have got the data from there and I made the reports on that as well so one of the project I did for the social media engagement engagement one where I need to get the data from different uh, url 
through the URL. But most of the time I've been working on the SQL server where we connect the SQL server uh, to the Power BI using the credential and we get the data from there and make the report uh, using the data. Yes. Yes, without any problem. Uh, along with it, like I can understand the requirement as well because I've been uh, uh, meeting with the internal stakeholders. Suppose um, if uh, I remember the last uh, when I met with the uh, account management team, they were uh, de facing the difficulty with the understanding the report we made. Then I gave them the session to how to read and how to use the report as well. Mm -hmm. We have also requirement we need to build uh, basically the Is that we wanted to shift our, our SQL Server database to the cloud server? Uh, not really, so we need to be, uh, build uh, solutions to mm -hmm. automate processes. Okay. So pipeline, data pipelines uh, in Azure environment. Yeah. So to we be... Yeah, to be honest, like I have migrated one data set, uh, one of the project I have migrated uh, from SQL Server to Azure database because uh, the load was uh, really so high in the production server. So we migrated our server to the cloud uh, um, uh, Azure database and I remember like uh, being up to date with the different data sets technology, but like I am about to learn the Docker and the Looker different technologies for the database. So you, are, you don't really have a standard, you are happy? Yeah, for the do Docker and all, we, I don't have the knowledge, but I will definitely learn those skills. Uh, modern methods dealing with uh, more advanced techniques like machine learning. Mm -hmm. So uh, to share my experience for machine learning and artificial intelligence and using the different models for the prediction, I have done a master's in data science. So uh, created different project, made the development model as well, where I trained the one of the project. If I talk about like I made the project for the diabetes prediction, where I use the data set from the Kaggle and uh, I predicted the like I trained the model based on different models, uh, regression okay, so model. And, and yeah, yeah. So that, that's good. Yeah. And, uh, are, and are you interested in to deal with this? Sorry, I didn't get it. And are you interested? Yeah, the earlier like I was I've been working as a SQL Power BI developer when but when I came in the UK to enhance my skills and upgrade myself to learn the machine learning and and uh, artificial intelligence. So that's why like I pursue the course as well, the master's degree okay. in the data science. So I have huge interest in uh, data science and machine learning uh, sector. So that's why I pursue the yeah. Yeah, like in the uh, in our module, there was Python or R. I have worked both on uh, technologies and both of the programming language. So I can create the model. I can train the model in, on using the Python and R as well. So I'm pretty co confident in Python using the Python. Okay, good. Okay, so I have a very quick task for you. So what would be the way? Mm -hmm. of numbers in their columns and, and you need to explain briefly these data uh, for me. Just to give some idea. So statistics, basic statistics that you need to use. 
if you want to experience a top data, like average, minimum, maximum, yeah. Mode, maybe, yeah. You know this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, basic, okay. basic mathematics, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what I, I would expect. Okay, and you mentioned the plots. What sort of plots you would use for me to explain these sort of things about this and columns of data? Yes, definitely, like the minimum and average, like that maximum value and all, yeah. But I mean plot. Sorry? Uh, I can use the uh, main the histogram would be the best histogram and uh, line what? yeah histogram line chart because it will give you the value and the bar chart as well I can okay. use okay. 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 Uh, okay. have you heard about the box plot? yeah yeah Okay. So that's good. So, so it's a mixture of things. So you have to develop dashboards, you have to do some machine learning potential, you have to build uh, something. And all the things related to buildings mm -hmm. and building related data. Right. Okay, so that's that. And, and you need to understand that, of course, that's the main message, that you need to understand the building elements, assets, mm -hmm. the engineering board a little bit. Not much, but as a data scientist, kind of the domain knowledge. Okay. In this. So think about that. Think about that because that's important. Uh, to have to, some kind of interest in this. Otherwise, it will be hard. Yeah. To, to be honest, so so mm -hmm. I am definitely confident in that. But the thing is, like reading the job description, there is there was no mention that you need to use the machine learning and AI even. So, like from the last. No, okay. uh, but the thing I want to see whether you are open as an analyst, potential analyst, or an analyst to go further. Oh, okay, okay. Because uh, I have here a career path mm -hmm. to improve these sort of skills. Yeah, no problem. I will definitely. Uh, recall all the my modules and all yeah. i will definitely go through with that and i don't think so like that will take uh, hardly within a week i can learn all these skills because uh i have made the project i have the experience as well and i can just recalling yeah, is the time the yeah yeah okay that machine learning making uh, models for the prediction i'm yeah, really sure. now i'm really interested in this role because i was expecting only for the like power bi and the sql would be the main majority of the but tools i might be using now. of course that's for now but we have plans so i wanted to see those as well okay good so let's move on to the next topic yeah so yeah i just want to know uh okay definitely you told me i need to focus on uh, this machine learning and artificial intelligence and the different uh, um, focus, but that's something that you should keep in mind that if you want to build it this, that's a good place yeah. if you are. I will, yeah. A plan. Maybe that's not something that we also mm -hmm. need to think about. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will but definitely we recall. Term, so we have that big development uh, mm -hmm. resources, so there, are, there is help. Okay. Uh, that, of course. Mm -hmm. So, what what is the like culture in the team, and what kind of the team I would be working with? We have a bigger team, mixture of building related uh, service managers, okay, and, uh, engineers. Mm -hmm. and Okay. Maybe you and me and, and some other teams as well to collect data, to understand problems. Yeah. So that's that's it basically. And together with our clients, which is very important because we work to 
together in one building with our clients and we need to be kind of expecting some client facing yep. elements as well to make that we make sure that we talk, behave, uh, but the clients can like it. <laughs> so that, that's a, get a little bit of extra in yes. this role. I have no issues with uh, getting the requirements from the client and meeting with them and understanding the requirement. Okay, good. So yeah. that's any questions? Uh, any kind of the, like uh, training or something we can I can expect expect from for joining or like after joining? What? Any any kind of like training or something like maybe just to recall? No, nothing. Okay, we will start from the day one. Okay, so okay. Just want to know, like, uh, if I want to success in this role, what advice would you give me to uh, within the thirty days? What should I do? Um, uh, I will let you know once we get there. Yep. There is another step. I will can explain more. But basically, just be prepared that you are able to deliver. Yeah. Oh. Business engineering part mainly. Mm -hmm. Extract engineering. A little bit heating, ventilation system, heating, cooling, ventilation. That's it. Okay, good. So because I'm conscious of time, so I have no. a few questions if you, if you don't have any. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you so much for the interview. So, uh, we work in the office, okay. Sorry, say that again. Can you commute or come to the office every day if needed uh, to central London? Is it a problem? I don't know the location. No, I recently moved uh, to the Milton Keynes, so it's not far away from the central London. It's just 35 minutes from here, so I can easily commute. Yeah. And I have no issues to work from the office uh, five days or six week, six days a week. Yeah. Remotely optional if you want, but you can go to the office. Okay. Salary expectations. What would be the you know, uh, I have no issues with the company standards, whatever the sell company providing. Uh, but I mean, good. Uh, notice period. Do you have uh, I have the one month notice period. One month. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, that's what it. To follow. Okay. So, any other interview I can expect, or maybe after? Uh, uh, yes, we will see. One, at least one, maybe two more, but this is just uh, yeah. the overview. Okay, no problem. We'll see the yeah, no worries. One, Thank you. Maybe two, mm -hmm. depend on I have to discuss at least one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you so much for your time. Thank have you. a good day. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. भाई देखा आपने इंटरव्यू वगैरह कैसा हुआ तो आपको क्या करना चाहिए भाई सारी चीज़ों का आ, क्या बोलते हैं इसको रिकॉल करते रहना चाहिए सारी चीज़ें पढ़ते रहना चाहिए टाइम टू टाइम जैसा मेरा साथ हुआ इंटरव्यू के साथ हुआ वैसा आपको साथ ना हो इंटरव्यू यहाँ के इजी होते हैं लाइक आपको इसने तो वैसे ज़्यादातर क्वेश्चन कुछ पूछे नहीं ही वॉज मोर इंटरेस्टेड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड उसके पास टाइम ही नहीं था आई बिलीव सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू ऐसे नहीं होते हैं ज़्यादातर इंटरव्यू दे आस्क ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी और फिफ्टी मिनट्स का इंटरव्यू होता है एंड दे आस्क दी सिचुएशन एंड कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो कॉम्पिटेंसी प्लस सिचुएशन बेस्ड और बिहेवियर बेस्ड ये वाले क्वेश्चन ज़्यादा होते हैं टेक्निकल हार्डली अगर दस में से दो क्वेश्चन अगर दस क्वेश्चन है तो हार्डली दो या तीन क्वेश्चन जो है टेक्निकल पूछेंगे वो भी अगर आप टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन जो है उसी के साथ इन्हेंस करके जैसे कि कोई बिहेवियरल क्वेश्चन उन्होंने पूछा है या कॉम्पिटेंसी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड उन्होंने पूछा है तो आप उसी के साथ मिक्स करके अपना टेक्निकल एक्सपीरियंस भी उसके साथ ही ऐड करके बता सकते हो सो so, <laughs> मेरा एक्सपीरियंस आपने देख लिया मेरी तो लग गई बात बट आप लोग प्रिपेयर है ना तो फिर मिलते हैं किसी और वीडियो में तब तक के लिए बाय